Hi everyone, this is Drew from Soju Cars and today I'm here in Hyundai Manila Bay and I'll be showing you the 2021 Hyundai Venue. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and like this video. Let us start. 시작. 3, 2, 1. The Hyundai Venue has two variants and they are the GL and the GLS variants. For the price, we have 915,000 pesos SRP for the GL variant while the GLS variant costs 985,000 pesos SRP. There are actually four places that the Venue is being produced. This unit that came to the Philippines was manufactured or assembled in South Korea. The 2021 Hyundai Venue comes with a Gamma 1.6 liter MPI engine and it comes with a 6-speed automatic transmission. The 2021 Hyundai Venue is a crossover that can do 121 horsepower at 6,300 RPM and 151 newton meters of torque at 4850 rpm and this is a front wheel drive for its dimension it has 4040 millimeters 1770 millimeters in width it has 1565 millimeters for its height with a wheelbase of 2520 millimeters it has a turning circle of 5.1 liter ground clearance of surprisingly 170 millimeters. Its trunk capacity is 355 liters. So let us start from the front fascia and we can see here on top it actually looks like well the front fascia actually looks like the corner. This is not the headlight this is the turn signal then we have the headlights are actually here. These are the daytime running lights and we have the high beam and a halogen type of projector lamp so we have a black color here for today and right below that we have something like this and there's actually a, an active airway for this front end so uh, it is going to definitely help with some of the performance and it also does feel better to have something that is actually functional then let's Look at the grill. The grills here are closed and they are like all plus signs. This area is open, then the Hyundai logo, which is massive for your plate. For the front, it looks very intimidating. It's a small crossover, but it makes it feel like uh, it is a big crossover. Uh, the plastic parts, and you also see some gray metallic part right there. Please do tell me in the comment section below what you think about its front look. So the hood has some lines here, just two of them. Okay, let me also show you what's under. There you go. So this car's uh, ground clearance is 170 millimeters, which is quite amazing. There you go. Let me show you again. All right. Let's proceed to the side. There's plastic. And then this is actually what it looks like in the wheel well. You have plastic here. All right. And the lines, it makes the front fender uh, look really um, handsome because like it's coming out this way. So there's like a line that goes this way and all the way to the back. When you look at the side mirrors, there's a side repeater, plastic here, it's a powered 
mirror adjustment. We have a standard windshield wiper and the wash nozzles are here. For its braking system, it has a ventilated disc brake for the front. It has a nice single tone alloy wheel and the size is 185 65R15s. So these are 15 inch wheels. It's not just a wheel cover, it is alloy wheel in Hankook tires. So the rest of the panels are in hard plastic in the lower side. For that ruggedness, you also get more some of the designs here. It makes the car look more macho. Everything is in one body color. So it doesn't have the floating roof line effect. It just has the one solid piece kind of effect that we rarely see these days painted in its body color. The gas cap on the left side. For the rear, you have solid disc brake also. That is a really good thing to see. Then we also have the 15 inch alloy wheel in Hankook tires. And this is how the wheel will looks like very well done in plastic. So we are here in the rear side of the venue. We have the spoiler. We have the shark fin antenna. We have the wash nozzle, the wiper, defogging lines, rear combination lamp, backup light with reflector. The door latch is hidden here. It says venue in color white fills. And the Hyundai logo, the wiper, it says 1.6 for its 1.6 liter gasoline engine. It has a backup camera already. That's very nice. And this area is for your plate number. Please do tell me guys what you think about this venue. Well, this venue's venue. And this is what it looks like under the car. So this car has a single exhaust and you also have a hook here so you can hook your car in case you get stuck. For the rear combination lamp, you have some reflectors here and your brakes are not just in one line. It is in one line but it is all slanted. And your turn signal is also in halogen but this one is in a triangle shape. So this car has different many different lines and designs. You see more of those plus signs that you saw in front. It also has the wash nozzle here. It kind of reminds me of a BMW. Well, just because the, the rear combination lamp is shaped that way. I haven't seen the actual GLS yet, but if you do see one, you will have chrome here in the, this plus designs. And you, are, you will have a white color here Yes, uh, for some people it will be very weird. You will also have a white accent here and also here and also most probably down here. So if I see the GLS, I will review it once more for you guys. So please hit the like button, smash that like button for more. Now let me bring you to the inside and this is the key of this Hyundai Venue. There you go. Does it look familiar? It's a flip key. It's a remote key that has lock, unlock, and the trunk. So let us enter. Let's go inside. So this is the door panel. Everything you see here is plastic. They're black and this is metallic silver. This one is not a real speaker as of now. Most probably in the GLS model. So you have your side mirror controls, which is power folding. There you go, it's power folding and unfolding. Your window controls. Everything is plastic. So this is bottle holder and some cubby hole. And this is the real speaker. And the door lock and unlock mechanism is actually here. And this is the step sill. This is what it looks like inside. So there are blacks and brushed aluminum accents 
inside this car. Before we go inside, let me show you what's under here. Okay, the pedals, and there's a vent here. Fuse box is here. Hood release is there. Gas cup release is here. This seat is actually in fabric with white accents. It is a manual, manual, manual car seat. Let's go inside now. All right, let's close the door. Okay, the cabin is very quiet. This is the dashboard of the Hyundai 2021 Venue GL variant. It looks like this with the lights on. Boom. Everything comes to life. Everything is white or blue. Is it white or blue? Oh, it's blue. So the backlights are blue. Even here, they are blue. So this car doesn't have ambient lighting, but uh, its buttons are actually illuminated in blue. Let's turn it off. So the handle is in urethane airbag and we have the metallic silver accent here computer controls you can also shift from different options and the hands-free option is right here with the voice command we have manual headlight and manual windshield wiper we have total of one two three four air vents this one is not shaped normally which is very cool i like that and for you to close it, you need to just slide it. And you can also see that there are symbols right there. Attention to details. I like that. It looks like a one piece. Uh, it's very cute. This car is very cute and also a bit intimidating at the same time. This car inside, it doesn't feel too tight, but it also doesn't feel it has huge space. On the left side, we have the instrument cluster control there you go then you also have a traction on and off button with two blanks right here the steering wheel is telescopic it's a manual telescopic then here instrument cluster this must be an eight inch screen but it looks really nice it also has android auto apple carplay which is a must these days we have the radio buttons the physical buttons and our hazard right there the sound is nice we have a very nice big power button and the volume button here or the dial and it is separated so you don't have any chance of touching it by mistake which is a very nice feature that i wish all cars are equipped with then we have a small space here you can put something there the airbag is here the glove box is there as well Here's the air condition control. These are actually digital air condition controls. I love it. The way it looks like, look at this. Whoa, and then you can just turn it on by turning this. Looks very nice. It's not colored. It is kind of colored. And it also has auto function. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> I just love it. It's so cute that you don't necessarily have to make everything digital. Just this one itself makes the car really, really special. The defogging for the front and the rear. And 12 volt. USB port. USB charge port. A cubby here. Six speed automatic transmission. So this is how the gear knob looks like with leather and white stitching. Illuminates in blue You have blanks here, but you can also have traction control and drive modes. So when you press drive You can have normal echo and sport <laughs> Then when you press it for the traction, then you can choose from snow mud and sand This is a 4x2 front wheel drive. So I'm not really sure where you're going to use this But but it's good that it has something fun to do here <laughs> then we have a manual handbrake which i really love we have two cup holders probably small this is smaller than this one but it's okay 
All right. And then the sun visor has lights. Also, you have light. Then the map lights are in halogen. There's a microphone here. Standard room mirror. This area is actually all plastic, but it has this uh, pattern that makes the car look not plain and bare. So that's very good. And the touch screen. It says here, please connect a device for more features such as Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So as soon as you plug in your phone by wire, it will function regularly. When you go to setup, you have a lot of things like this. Even a screensaver. Oh, analog. There you go. So you can set a lot of things here. Apps info. My menu. It's not the fastest, fastest, but it's not the slowest, slowest uh, head units I've tried. But the quality is really, really nice. It's in uh, this glossy type. How about the sound system? Let's try it. I love this. It's so fast. I almost forgot to show you this very, very cute center console. Uh, it feels like leather and rubber at the same time. I think it's leather. It's soft. And that's the amount of space you will get. Just enough for maybe five hard disks, grab handles in three doors except the driver so now uh let me bring you to the back now let me bring you to the rear or the second row so we have the same brushed aluminum type of door handle power window everything is plastic but we have a speaker here we have a bottle holder here the step sill now the seats here at the back three headrests are available there is no armrest everything is still in fabric so my height is about 510 or 511 i have the seat moved all the way to the back i mean this is not my driving position but i just did it all the way it is definitely tight the thing is the back of the seat is in plastic you also have two net type of pouches so it kind of presses on my knees if it was fabric back i think it would have given me more room see this is the center tunnel it's on the medium size here in the rear you don't have so many amenities you have grab handles with the hook you also have a cabin light you have a grab handle you have window, you have power window button here, you have a speaker, you have a bottle holder, you have headrests, and that's it. Let me go to the other side and check if uh, the seats are enough. Yawn! Now I can breathe. <laughs> With this kind of adjustment, I cannot breathe. Now let me bring you to the trunk area. Okay. So there's an electronic button that will release the trunk. And this car also comes with a trunk cover to make sure that people won't see what you have inside your trunk. And then, yep, it's the fuzzy type. We have a donut type, a blue spare wheel. Now even the spare wheel is blue. It used to be yellow and white and black and now it's in blue that's amazing <laughs> thank you you have some space here but not much so you will most likely find your uh, tools and jack right here as well so this car actually has more space when you fold the second row like in order to fold this one they fold in 60-40 so there's a latch here you can put it down so go to the other side that's how much space you have it's well almost flat how about this side okay 
So as you can see, you have a lot of cargo space when they are folded in 6040. But before we end the video, I will show you the lights. So this is how the venue looks like with the lights and the hazard on. So we have halogen, 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 but we have LED daytime running light. So what would it look better if you had a silver or chrome grill in this black color? Please do let me know in the comment section below. There you go. And also the side repeaters. They look very nice. And here we go. See, look at this, the triangle, the triangle shaped turn signals. Wow. Oh my. This is not your ordinary type of rear combination lamp design. When you look closely and every time you move, it's gonna change. It's gonna glitter. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if you can see it. Every time I move it, it's changing its glitter pattern. This is very, very cool. Also this one. Wow. <laughs> That's really fun. Now, let me show you the hood or the engine bay. Okay, there you go. So this is the engine bay of the 2021 Hyundai Venue GL variant, DOHC 16 valve. This is how it looks like under the hood. You have a manual strut bar. There you go. And for you to close it, just drop it. Uh, well, Mr. Sean wouldn't want me to do that, but it's done. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. This car looks fantastic. Now the price point is uh, 900 and a million between that. So, well, you have so many other options these days, especially in this crossover segment right here. Uh, there are Chinese cars that are full of features that you would wish when you get this kind of cars. But uh, I've been driving lots of cars these days. They have pros and cons. And this Hyundai is uh, already, uh, it's a very stable uh, brand in the Philippines. So the five-year warranty is going to help you to have that more confidence rather than buying some other cars that are just new or made in China. So please do let me know what you think about this car. For me personally, this one looks different. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to test drive this one and give you my personal thoughts on it. Thank you for watching this video. This was a very quick tour of the 2021 Hyundai Venue. This is the GL variant. And in the future, I'll be bringing you the GLS variant. So if you have enjoyed this video, please like the video, smash that like button. And also if you're not a subscriber yet, please do subscribe.